Welcome back to another video. As always, my name's Jasper, and what we're going to be covering today is how to use the Gemini API today, and that means right now um, using an unofficial method. Uh, we will be using the Bard, uh, Python, and a Python uh, library package as well um, to make this all happen. It's very easy, uh, simple for even people that don't know how to code, and will only take um, a few minutes to set up. So let's dive in. So the first thing you're going to need is a Bard account, um, obviously. Uh, Definitely one that's using the new Gemini Pro. Uh, you'll be able to see that by typing in what is uh, what what model is being used, and then it will tell you if it's using Gemini Pro or not. Okay, and then the next thing you're going to need uh, to know is this: uh, you're going to need to get this package. It's called Bard API. Um, it can be found on GitHub, or you can install within your pip library by just going pip install Bard API. Um, all these links will be in the description, so everything mentioned you can find there, uh, nice and easy. Um, so then install that, and then once you've got that, we will move on to the actual code aspect. A very simple 10 lines. So what we have here is from Bard API, and then import cookies. And the cookies we're going to need is secure1 PSID, secure1 PSID DTS, and secure1 PSID CC. And that will be the cookies to communicate and connect to Bard, as we don't officially have an API. Um, and then after that, we're going to ask it what model are you using, and that's going to tell us whether it's using the uh, latest Gemini Pro API um, or the standard one. I've got my one here that has my um, the cookie keys in there already, so I didn't want to show everybody that uh, just in case you know somebody tries accessing my account. Okay, so how do we get these cookies? So come across into Bar, right click, go to Inspect. And then go up here, go to application, then come into cookies, you'll see here, and then click Bard. And you will find the secure PSID, uh, that's number one. You will have the secure PSID um, DTS and DCC. Now, if you the it is different depending on your account and location. I'm not too sure on the rules. Um, so if you only have a secure one PSID, do not worry. You will see here that you can use just the one cookie. Some locations only have one, as you can see here, where then you've got accounts like mine, where they have uh, three types. So if you've got three, use my code. If you've only got one, get the code off here on the um, uh, the repo for that um, library, that Python library. As I said, all the links in the description. Um, okay, so once we've got that, we can move on to actually the code aspect. So as you saw before, let me just bring that back up. You saw this. And that is, so we'll put all in the cookies here, and then you'll save it. That's all you need to do. So you'll see um, I have my one saved here called Gemini um, in the Bard file here. And now let's bring our terminal across. So the terminal is within this folder, and we're going to go Python 3, and then we're going to run the script. So Gemini.py, and it's going to ask that question. Loading is a good sign. Still going. There we go. So we're going to say as of today, December 8, 2023, I'm running on Gemini Pro language model. This is a large language model developed by Google AI. So there you go. So as you can see, it's already using the Gemini Pro AI. Um, we're doing this by connecting Python through to the Bard, um, actual AP, I'm sorry, the Bard application, which is connected to Gemini Pro. So you'll be able to easily connect this up to any of your applications, anything you want to use. Um, and yeah, as you can see, it only took a couple of minutes, which is amazing. Um, I hope this helped everyone out and you learned a bit about uh, Python, Bard, and APIs. And yeah, um, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.